Hi, uh, this is a my own review of the uh, TM240A. I just got it a couple days ago. Um, I couldn't quite afford the uh, newer TM245P from Neoden, so and actually, you know, it, this this guy had enough uh, spaces, enough real capacity for for the things that I have to build. Um, I spent some time testing it out. Uh, a couple things I noticed though, um, it isn't clear on the Neoden website or any others that I found that these front trays, you know, there's ten front trays and Neoden tells you to put your part in the upper left hand corner square. Well, that's kind of ridiculous because then you can only use that size part in the upper left hand corner. Uh, so what I did was since I happen to have a little laser cutter, I uh, told it to cut out 15 by 15 millimeter uh, squares from a cardstock and put a center alignment hole, and that fits perfectly in these squares. And then the standard uh, carriers have a hole in the center too, so I just cut them apart and glued different carriers on. So now I can have all kinds of different size components that uh, as you see it's just easy. This is a little um, positive temperature coefficient fuse and a little 5 volt regulator. They're easy to just drop into these bins and since I do arrays of three typically on my boards um, it's going to bring all the components in and then it's going to come here and it's going to pick one, two, three and place those three fuses and then it'll pick the next three in line which are my 5 volt regulators. So let's go ahead and give it a run. And right now I just have the uh, sticky tape on board. It also wasn't clear online how you would program it to use both heads at once but it, it doesn't take long to figure out that if you just tell it to pick from head one on one line and then on the next line you're telling it to pick from head two, it's going to grab both heads. Uh, I happen to use head one for the smaller components and then I have a uh, larger flow head for head two. So there it's getting some resistors and no part. Here in a second it's going to be done with that and it's going to start to grab from these trays. Here go the three fuses and there go the three regulators and we're done. So it's a sweet little machine. Uh, if I were doing a single board I could actually have ten unique components. Um, that are easy to drop into these little trays. Alright, enjoy!